Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Caleb Williams continues to impress. My goodness, the spectacular every single week. Fired up for this one. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Before we dive into the video, a quick reminder about the Quarterback School Patreon community. It's a great way to support the channel. Not only are you supporting the channel, but you're getting even more Quarterback School content. So hop over there, join, become a member. Link is in the video description. I appreciate your support. As for this video, let's get into it. Caleb Williams continues the spectacular. This time, what I'm going to call a PSO gone wrong. Caleb Williams just says, get the hell off me. I'm going to go make a play. <laughs> Craziness. The towel squad's loving it. From the back here, really be able to see this thing. He basically gets corner blitzed. Says, go ahead and get off me, and I'll go make the play myself down the sideline. Simply spectacular. So what am I talking about? Corner blitz, what's going on play-wise here? For me, first thing to realize is that we are getting what I'm used to calling catted or cobra here from the corner. So they're blitzing. Now, what this play is before we even get there, in my opinion, is probably a slant if you like it. If you don't like it, We've got this swing screen built in or screen to the back. And so when we get catted here, we'll call it, or cobra it kind of blurs this read because the safety normally coming over the top here, but he's kind of in that slant lane. So he kind of basically says, you know what? It's muddy. I'll do it myself. Take it. You can see here up top, watch that corner blitz. Here he comes. He goes to throw the slant, and it's almost like a turn down. Like he's like, oh, no. It's then... You can't go back to the swing screen. Now, the thing about this where he's living on the edge is that we've potentially got offensive linemen flirting with getting downfield. They do a nice job of kind of walking it back. Watch the big guys walk it back. And then Caleb Williams just does his own thing on the sideline. Give your guy a shot. Towel squad loves it. Pretty outstanding. From the back here, we can see him turn down. Whoop. I mean, he's. it looks like he, he's either throwing that slant and turns it down or he's fake pumping that slant and going to throw the screen the whole time. Only he knows, but this ability to basically improv this, you got someone right in your face. Create, 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 get off me. A little half straight arm. Actually a decent job by that corner, getting that straight arm off of his forehead. Whoop. But then this ability to create. Special. Wow. Next one here, touchdown pass, bottom of the screen. They're going to eventually get to zero with the fast three motion. You know, who knows what they're doing defensively. This is like routes on air for Caleb Williams. Way too easy. We're going to be hot. It doesn't matter because they're coming from such depth here. We're never going to get home from that much depth. And he's able to throw that thing right to the corner. Beautiful touch. To me, this is spot or snag, depending on what your terminology preference is. The touchdown, though, is just way too easy. And the reason it's too easy is because we've got five in the pass protection unit, they're bringing six, but the six are coming from depth. And they're coming from depth with like weird pass all day. It takes forever. Whatever this plan was to try to disrupt Caleb Williams, it was never going to work coming from this deep. So no, no, no. I mean, he never gets home. I mean, the guy's untouched long hair up top, the linebacker, and he's never getting there. Caleb Williams is hot. It doesn't even matter. He's barely in the screen. That's a beautiful touch as well to the corner. Really too easy, if we're being honest. Fast three motion. And again, the fast three motion just exploits the, the pressure. It makes 32's pressure worse. Pressure's, 32's blitzing. Now he's just blitzing from the heavens. I mean, look at Caleb Williams. Look at the pocket here. 36, the long hair on the left. He's the hot rusher. I mean, he's five yards away from him. He's unblocked. It's just terrible pressure, and Caleb Williams makes him pay, and that's way too easy. Beautiful touch, though. Touchdown. Next one here, Caleb Williams with the old fadeaway slant to the bottom. I mean, hot up top to Caleb Williams' right, and he's going to throw hot to the left. They're trying to get fancy with him here with what I'm going to call two-trap, but Caleb Williams has an uncanny knack to be able to not get hit on these plays. So the slant to the bottom is where the ball goes. Okay, You're saying, oh, how the hell does he get so open? Well, they're trying to get cute with their coverage 
And so this middle field safety is making it look like closed, right? Well, at the snap, he's going to roll over the top. We're going to roll this corner, cloud this corner. They're pressuring off the edge up top. He's a free runner. Okay, now normally you'll often hear me say, hey, let's throw into that. We want to throw something hot, th something hot here because it's easy. Well, you got a flat defender, cloud defender. It makes it tough. And right here, they're essentially asking this corner to cover this half of the field. And so they have the perfect, I mean the perfect call on right here, slant to this space. Because he's got to stay over the top. The corner's got to stay over the top. He's got no help. And again, it's pretty impressive that Caleb Williams can essentially throw fadeaways for strikes when he's hot in his face to the opposite side. Y'all, it is special. And he makes it look easy. Boom. I mean, he barely even takes a hit. He's got a free runner. All that space, great read, beautiful offensive architecture, great decision-making at the line of scrimmage. Watch the fadeaway, though. Hot to our left. Whoop. I mean, just nonchalant, just kind of like cavalier, like drop down the arm angle, got color in our face. It's not perfect throw, but certainly good enough. Next one here, we're going to go full field, full field read. Whatever is up top, he doesn't like it. He's able to reset, got great pocket presence, poise, no panic keep his base and rip this curl to the backside. So just, he's got a really, really nice, calm feel to his pocket movement. And he's also crazy elusive. So there's no reason to go. So there's no bailing early. He's just, nope, 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 yes. Put it right on him. That's a full field read from within the pocket. So to have the ability to create, like we've already shown him to be able to create, but then to be able to go up top at the top of the drop. No, he doesn't like anything up top. Hitch again, no. Reset down here to the bottom and it times out. So the timing of this thing, you don't have to know, we don't have to know what the read is up top to say, hey, at the top of your drop, we're gonna look over here, whatever, first, second, it's not there, then reset your feet and be able to drive this down here to the curl and it times out. So that's the other thing about it. So no, no, yes. And the timing of it, tethered to his feet and the progression of the read just really nice job and also awesome pass protection now don't get it twisted you know they're going to see a more formidable rushes than nevada can bring to him today on this game but caleb williams man this is operating on a high level from within the pocket so it's not always the craziness it's not always the circus plays right here just efficient in structure another touchdown pass probably too easy versus zero this is going to be a Swing screen up top, he's going to say no. He's going to work the jerk to the bottom and the slot. And again, that's a fadeaway strike. That's too easy. Now, what the pressure situation is with Nevada, that could be a whole video series of how poorly they're getting home here. But Caleb Williams, man, off platform, backing up, fadeaway, arm angle different. Just really, really nice. And again, the construction here from this offense just makes it easy on the quarterback, but also creates big windows, puts a lot of stress on a defense. So the first thing here, fast three motion. So it looks like right here, we're just going up here and we're trying to throw this swing screen. Whatever their read is, numbers, grass, if they like it, if not as one, it looks like. Then, then down here, the second part of this read where the touchdown is, he's going to set up like he's going to get a hitch and then he's going to drift in. I'm used to calling that a jerk because it's made to make this guy look like a jerk because he drives this hitch and then we're out of there. But the craziness, the crazy thing, you, you should not be able to throw these kind of moves when you're hot. So again, we've only got five in the pass protection unit and they are blitzing six. Y'all, we have to be able to get home. We can't, we can't be letting them run double moves, fadeaway jumpers. It's just, this is, you know, too easy. It's fun to watch. It's great film to watch, but that's too easy. And that's way too much space. Holy moly. Whoever is coaching DBs, man, I would be coming out of my skin about some of these path, these protection calls. We got to be able to get home with these pressures. My goodness. It's great athleticism to close that thing out as well. But man, watch this fade away. So no, boom, snap it back. I mean, it's crazy that he really plays these plays like he's not hot. And, you know, maybe they just think that the scheme will beat him. I'm not sure exactly what the thought process is. I don't think it's necessarily the most sound pass pro or play, but he makes these work and he doesn't even take hits. 
It's these fade away kind of put it right where you can, really creative arm angles, another touchdown. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. I sincerely appreciate you subscribing to the channel, so thank you for doing that. It means a lot to me. Again, the Quarterback School Patreon community, get even more Quarterback School content. We also have a bunch of Quarterback School courses. We've got courses on all of my favorite football topics, RPOs, tempos, pass protection, how to beat every coverage is the best seller. We also have an entire offensive system available. So get over there, enroll. We have a bunch of free resources available as well, all linked in the video description. Finally, make sure to follow me across social media platforms. I appreciate your support. As for this video, let's get back to it. Next one here, it's just a massive run. I'm gonna say that that this read is probably not correct, which is pretty ironic because it turns into such a huge, massive play. But if you're looking at just kind of like the textbook header read zone read, if we are looking to the right, so the C-gapped player to our right, I mean, that's a pretty simple get up the field. Now, you know, I'm, again, I'm trying not to make this a let's clown on Nevada's defensive scheme, but that's about as bad as you can do it on the edge. And he makes him pay. There's no doubt about it. G great athlete, dynamic, can run it, can create. But what, <laughs> what are we doing scheme-wise here? Again, I just talk through just what I think this thing is zone read wise here. If we're going to run whatever this is, wide zone, inside zone, don't really care. Normally you would read whoever is in the C gap. So I, I would say this player first, you know, depending on what the technique is, how they play this thing is this guy hard charges it. So to me, that's a give. So if you, if that was the guy you were reading, you'd want to give this ball to the back, but they kind of gap exchange it from depth. So this guy then charges the back. Neither one of them, okay, this is where you get into bad defense, is anywhere close to tackling Caleb Williams. So it's kind of like a circus clown show, and then it turns into just getting gashed on punt return middle. I mean, there's just way too much space. But, I mean, who's who in the zoo here? Who are you supposed to take? Who are you supposed to read? <laughs> you know, they're running it, it looks like, with RPO spot. I mean, it's... <laughs> It's a little bit of a circus, a little bit of a broken play. It kind of plays right into Caleb Williams' strengths, if I'm being honest. And he makes him pay. He can throw it, and he can certainly run it as well. So, again, you read it out to the right. You know, <laughs> There's two people out there. You, you would think that that would be a give. And I'm pretty sure that's an RPO. That doesn't look like offensive line that is kind of faking a naked. You know, 71 is coming back to seal. Like, 52 is climbing to the linebacker. They're block and run. So he pulls it, just says, I'll do it myself, little hero ball. And he does full hero ball right down the middle of the field. Damn. Next one, one of the few times you'll see Caleb Williams maybe doing too much. You know, get a little too crafty with the arm angle. Now, I will say that I absolutely love it. I mean, he is dropping it down, throwing a <laughs> submarine off this thing. Watch this arm angle here. I mean, that is below the hip. Trying to wrap it around someone. Now, there's a few things here. So, first of all, all right. You know, you're feeling yourself a little heat check here. I'm all for it. It looks like we're trying to get just a simple, what I'm used to calling like a tunnel screen here. Get a couple guys out, hit this thing, and then try to gap this thing. The other, <laughs> the other thing that's always funny is when you see screens like this and you see guys who, you know, who knows what this is. Maybe this is a built-in option. And he can peek this if he wants because 87 full on throws up the mailbox here. So watch that sniffer tight end, the number three to the field. I mean, he thinks he's going to score right there, right? Like he's either acting or he really thinks he's going to get the ball. The ball's in the air. The reason it's on this video is just seeing the audacity of this arm angle. <laughs> I know he misses him by a while. It doesn't matter in this game, but man. I love the fact that you're out there doing this, having fun like this, showcasing your talent like this, bro. It's pretty special. I mean, this is fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, thank goodness he didn't hand it to the back either, right? Running GT read. Jesus. Tough one. Just missed though, huh? Another touchdown pass from a bizarre zero pressure in the high red area from Nevada. This is a fadeaway glance. <laughs> off an RPO counter. I've never seen so many fadeaways in a game. This is straight up silly. He's essentially just like having fun now. This looks like a shoot around before a game. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's awesome now. Don't get it don't get it wrong. I love it. 
but we're, we're going to come up here and just get to this space. I'm going to guess on this RPO counter, he's reading this defender right here. At the end of the day, they get heated up again. So we're, we're pressuring, we're pressuring from depth. We're pressuring from depth. We're never going to get home. So just play this thing out where you're reading this conflict defender. He engages. It's zero though. So this safety is not there. If this safety were able to stay in the middle and we didn't blitz this guy, you know, he can't lollipop this thing up there. He's got to play it like a true RPO glance with his, his tough versus press. But when he vacates this thing and they zero him again from the heavens, never going to get home. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a fadeaway RPO glance like this. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's, it's way too easy. He, and he makes it look even easier. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get yourself some right here, though. Just a little counter. And you can see the guard go. I don't even think they blocked this thing, right? I'm not sure what the left tackle is doing. That's not how I would block counter, but I'm sure they know what they're doing with counter. I mean, just look at the footwork from Caleb Williams. I mean, he is throwing. He This is like shooting a fadeaway shot at the wreck from the logo. And like not watching it go in. And that is. <laughs> I can't I can't get over the fadeaway. I wish he would have not watched it. If he would have like curried that thing. Thrown it. And then turned away right there. Oh my god. Next week I guess. Next one. Another big play. This is world class design. This is for all my defense coordinators out there. Who yell never going to happen. During 7 on 7 all year. This is taking the double smash pipe to the next level and this is not even a great throw if it's a better throw this thing probably scores watch the back we're gonna fake long trap i've never seen it with fake long trap <laughs> and again the ball is kind of on the wrong shoulder you know probably not the most accurate throw of the day for caleb williams but this design y'all come on tip the hat this is just silly it's not even double smash it's double inside fade i like it it's a 2023 version so what am I talking about? I'm talking about in every seven on seven across the country, every summer teams come out and run this play. And as soon as they catch middle field open, they're going to run this tailback down the middle and defense coordinators usually standing back here. because They don't know what the hell's going on are yelling that never happened. Okay. Well, this is even better because this now is inside fade here. Like a lot of teams get inside fade nowadays inside fade, but then we're going to fake it. To the back we're going to pull the guard which i've got questions about how we would handle some pass pro issues but right here it works out like an absolute clinic and then this thing is up the pipe y'all this is art this is why this dude is one of the best play callers in the country and has been for a long time <laughs> the pulling the guard I mean, what happens if one of those linebackers up top blitzes? I don't know, and I don't care. That's awesome. Great finish as well. Nice adjustment from the back, making this catch. Nothing easy about this catch. Nice job from Caleb Williams selling it as well. But just do the mental gymnastics here. What happens if the two linebackers on the left, you see one hand, one body getting pulled? What happens if they blitz? I don't know. I don't want to find out, but I love this. <laughs> <laughs> what about what is Caleb Williams is doing with this fake? Fake into the right, fake into the left, pipe. <laughs> that is unbelievable design. Great, nice execution. Another touchdown pass here. This time, Caleb Williams basically just creating it himself. He's going to end up throwing to go up top to the number one all the way across the field, almost at the front pylon. No, no, no. Create, create, create. Know his surroundings and then drill it. From the back here, really appreciate this to be able to basically say, no, no panic. Look at the base. Y'all talk about the no heel click, calm, poised, no panic, not bailing early. And now we got to go two hands on it. No, create, look around, make sure you're good. Peek behind. You see the peek behind, peek behind. You're welcome. Get out on the edge. Boom. Find him. I mean, to go from a peek behind whoop, right there to accelerate vision man one more time again the receiver up top is the guy that catches it 
keeps working, keeps working, keeps working, keeps working. Mailbox, keep working. Find the run to open space. Find it. Touchdown. Woo. <laughs> I don't know what you do here other than hopefully have better pass rush that can get home. Because if you do this type of stuff, you've really got no chance. There's nobody better at creating out of structure. Last one here, another touchdown pass this time. The number two to the bottom, inside fade, third and short to medium. And my guy defending the slot has zero chance here. This is routes on air. Caleb Williams showing off the touch again, the accuracy down the field. Way too easy. I mean, this is just overwhelmed, overmatched, barely playing the same sport on the perimeter. Hold that middle field player. Get it out on time. Beautiful touch. Accurate. Whew. This is way too easy. So there's a few things going on here. First of all, just understanding the down and distance, right? We can see third down, bottom of the screen. Third down. Great opportunity in my mind to take a shot. Inside fade. And again, you've got all that room. We catch middle field closed right here. All you have to do quarterback-wise is be able to take your drop and hold that safety. So keep your eyes here as long as you can. Don't allow him to be able to kind of chase this thing and go collision this thing. The other thing to pay attention to is it sure looks like Caleb Williams gives a signal right here. And I'll show it even better from behind from the end zone footage. But man, you know, poor guy down here on the slot has got no chance. This is way too much speed for him. Whoa, Jesus, gapped. Right in stride, too easy of a touchdown. From the back here, watch the signal. Left hand. Hey, whatever the hell that is. Shock, maybe? <laughs> Do they run shock? Is it really shock? That would be the number three, like running a stick. And it looks like it. Regardless, I love it. Signal it. Drop it in there. Hold that safety. The touch. Make easy plays look easy. Another touchdown. So that is a wrap. Caleb Williams. I mean... What can we say at this point? It's seemingly every game, and it's not even every game. It's every quarter, basically, just making spectacular out-of-structure plays. I think some of my favorite things from his game is to see kind of the comprehensive elite package that he brings to the table. So it's not just the playmaking, which is as special as special gets, but it's also the ability to run it a little bit. It's also the awareness. It's also getting through reads from within the pocket. It's also the touch down the field, consistency on the deep ball. I mean, it's pretty damn impressive on so many different levels. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you want to see next. I appreciate you hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.